In this video, I will talk about the reduction reaction, and our main focus is going to be oxidizing and what reducing agent. How do you identify oxidizing and reducing agent? How do you know the special that is oxidation, and how do you know the special that is what reduction? This topic is one for uh, topic that give young students education in chemistry. So I want to use this video to explain everything to understand. Everything to understand about reduction reaction, how to, how to identify oxidizing and what reducing agents. I've done video on how to balance redox reaction. I will leave the link in the description below so I can check out that video if that interests you to know how to balance uh, redox reaction. But in this video, we are going to focus on what how to identify oxidizing and what reducing what agent. How to know oxidation, how to what no reduction. Check that. So you're going to stick to the end of this video because. By the end of this video, you should be able to answer every single problem you see in your what past question. So let's get into it. So you have, if we have A plus B equals what C plus what D. So now in a redox reaction, there are two things you must know. This red means what reduction. This can means what reduction. This oz means what oxidation. So whenever you see a reaction that is what is redox reaction, one of the reactants must be what reduction, and one of the reactants must be what oxidation. As we move on in the video, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to show you or teach you how I can identify the one that is what oxidation and the one that is what what reduction. But for now, you don't understand the basic concept. Imagine this one, this one is what is a redox reaction. Therefore, you don't look at the, the products. You want, want to focus on the reactants. Now, one must be oxidation and one must be what reduction. Remember, I told you that I'm going to teach you how to identify oxidation and reduction, right? But for now, let's assume that this guy is what is the oxidation. Right? This guy is what is the oxidation. If this guy is, is the oxidation, Automatically, this guy have become what the reduction. Are right there? So any species that undergo oxidation is said to be what oxidized. Are right there? It's said to be what oxidized. So oxidation is said to be what. So species that undergo oxidation is said to be what oxidized. Because. In a question, yeah, in a question in your exam, they ask you which of these species is being oxidized. Do you get that? So any species that undergo oxidation is said to be what oxidized. Why any species that undergo reduction is said to be what to reduce. Re reduce. Just and and I'm going to explain what now what is oxidizing agent and what is reducing agent. Do you get that? So from here, you know the one that is what oxidizing agent, the one that is what that is what reducing agent. But understand this concept first. See, this guy undergo oxidation because of the, of the presence of what of this guy, because of the presence of, what, of this B here. If there is no B in a what reaction, because in a redox reaction, two of them occur simultaneously. One is being oxidized, and the other one is being what reduced at the same time. So. If this guy is not present in the reaction, there is no way this A can undergo oxidation. So A undergo oxidation because of this guy here. So this guy is an agent. Okay. On the other hand, there is no way this one here can undergo reduction without the presence of this guy here. So two of them are also called agents. Do that. So this guy undergo oxidation because of what? This B that undergo what reduction do that so because B enable A to undergo oxidation, B is now what oxidizing agent. It is the agent in which A that enable A to undergo what oxidation. Right On the other hand, B is an agent that enable what B A is an agent that enable what B to undergo what Reduction. So A is a, is what is a reducing what agent. So we have called oxidizing agents. We have called reducing agents. Any species that 
undergo undergo what reduction is said to be oxidizing agents. I get so any species that undergo reduction is said to be what oxidizing what agents. So reduction means what oxidizing agents. You want to understand this concept here? Then any species, any species that undergo oxidation is said to be reducing reducing what agents. Do you get that? So oxidation is what is reducing what agents. So in the question or in the exam, they may ask you which of these undergo oxidation, which of these undergo what reduction. Do you get that? To be given a reaction. And you may you may not be asked that, you may also be asked which of these undergo oxidation. So this one is which of these is what is the oxidizing agent, and which of these is what is reducing what agent. Like the question I want to see as we move on in this video here. Yeah, do you get that? So how do we now identify oxidation and reduction? So from there now, because it's found that at this point, oxidation and reduction, from there can I know the one that is what oxidizing and what the one that is what is the oxidizing agent, the one that is what reducing what agents. Do you get so this is where the definition now comes in. Definition of, of the oxidation, definition of, of the reduction. So we have three major ways you can identify what oxidation and what reduction. Do you get so that will now be the, what the definition. So now let's look at what each of the definition of what oxidation and reduction. You're going to have to take this thing out because this will be a roadmap on how to identify oxidation and what reduction. So I want to explain to you there we start looking at what various examples on how you can identify oxidation and reduction with this what definition. If you can master what I want to teach in this video, then identify oxidizing and reducing agent in Jam chemistry should be the most easiest to ever see what is done. So now look at the first one. First of all, I want to focus on what oxidation. Oxidation is our increase in oxygen or addition of what oxygen. So those species that gain oxygen in a redox reaction are called what oxidation. However, oxidation, any species that undergo oxidation is what reducing what agent, right? So so an increase in oxygen is called what is oxidation. Do you get Now, oxidation is what loss or decrease of hydrogen. So those species that lose hydrogen in a redox reaction are called what oxidation. I get And oxidation is the increase in oxidation number. So when you see a species that gain uh, oxidation number or it involves increase in oxidation number, then I'm going to explain that to you. Now, any species that undergo what that that set to, to have increase in what in oxidation number is said to be what oxidation. So you know what technique of these three main stuff here because this I will identify oxidation and what we so this I identify what oxidation one is what addition of what oxygen or what increase in what oxygen two is what decrease in what hydrogen three is what increase in oxidation normalized what oxidation do that now on the other hand the feature of what reduction reduction is what decrease or the loss of what oxygen so those species that lost oxygen in a redox reaction are called reduction do that they are called what reduction reduction and reduction are also called what oxidizing what agent hope you know then reduction is what increase or, or addition of what hydrogen. So those species that what gain hydrogen in a redox reaction are called are called reduction. Then the last one, oxidation is what is decrease in oxidation number. You get that? So you want to copy this on your notes. They let's start identifying them. We have to take about we have to take as many questions we can so I can understand this. Concept there. Do, do you understand? So let's take the first one here. They say, now look at the reaction here. There are, there are 
Uh, if they should ask now, which one will go oxidation? Which one will go what reduction? I get, or which one will be is what we do oxidizing and what we do is what agent. So the first we want to do here is to what split the reaction into two half equation. That is, what is split the reaction into what oxidation and what our reduction? Okay, but here we have the two what reactants here. From here, now this one here, H2O, I've moved to this other one here to form H2. Do that. Why this one here has moved here to form this? Do that. So that is H2O undergo reaction to form what H2, right? So what undergo reaction to form what hydrogen gas? Why carbon undergo uh, the reaction to form what CO2? So you're, you're not going to ask yourself which one is what is the oxidation and which one is what is the reduction, right there. Now remember, when you look at it, tell what oxygen. Remember that oxidation is the increase in oxygen or the addition of oxygen, right? So out of this one here, which one will go or uh, now which one, uh, which one increases now in what oxygen? We move from from the reactant to what the products. So here we have carbon move towards CO, right? So from carbon move towards CO, that is there's an increase in what oxygen here. There's no oxygen here, but there's what no oxygen here. Just that. Now, any species that what increases in, in oxygen from left to right in a reaction is said to be what oxidation. Right there, it's said to be what oxidation. That is carbon are undergoing what oxidation. Why is why is carbon undergoing oxidation? Or why is carbon undergoing oxidation? Because Carbon here has no oxygen, but on the what reactor on the what product side is that what one oxygen. Do you understand? So it's what oxidation, like oxidation is what increase in oxygen or addition of what oxygen. So there's an increase in oxygen here for carbon towards CO2. So it's what oxidation. Now look at what's on here. H2O move towards H2. Now we are, we are looking in terms of what oxygen now, you get. So, how many oxygen do you have here? One oxygen here, right? How many oxygen do you have here? No oxygen. That is, there's, no, there's what? Loss of what? Oxygen. Um, reduction is what? Decrease or loss of what? Oxygen. So, here it's called what? Reduction. So, in the sense that in a redox reaction, if you want to ever split the reaction into a true half equation, one must be what oxidation, the other one must be what reduction. Now, I told you that the species that undergo oxidation is called reducing agent. So I want to write this place here. So here you can say, here is what is the reduction. Is what reduction. Why is what oxidation? Do you get So that is A should undergo what reduction. Why is why is on the what oxidation? It means that H two H two O is the what uh, oxidizing agent. I get C is what is is the what reducing reducing what agent. As easy as that, you get that. So because this one I oxidation is what is the reducing agent. We undergo what reduction is what is the oxidizing what agent. I hope you understand. Depending on the kind of question you'll be giving in the what exam, you have to check the options you get. So this one here, if they ask now, which of this species undergo uh, oxidation? Which, which of this species undergo what oxidation? Now you see A, B, C, and what D. You get. Of course, C undergo what oxidation. I get. A, water on another what reduction. So C is what is the reducing what agent. Why A show is what is the what oxidizing agent. Hope you understand now. Let's move to the second question. So now look at what this question here. Now if I be giving this question again, they, they ask you which is what is the oxidizing agent and which what is the reducing agent. Or which one is oxidation or which one is what reduction. So now, the first one to do is was split the reaction into a two-half equation. What do I mean? Remember, 
this guy moved to this one here. White moved to this, right? So after you split the diagonal, you are now going to use the convenient one for you. You get so when there's no particular way you can work at this far as this and watch reduction reaction. It's just the one that is obvious and the way you can work easily what to use. You get so if you should move from year to year, and this one what move from year to year. Do you get that? If not, iron two plus move the word iron what three plus you get. So here we have F E two plus move the word F E three plus right. Then C L two move the word C L what minus. So we have to ignore the uh, units. Sorry, the moles. If you ignore the moles here, yeah. so. There's no oxygen here, there's no hydrogen here. So the covenant we are going to use to go to define the oxidation reduction is what? Is oxidation number. Do you get So the oxidation number of iron here is what is plus two, and the oxidation number here is what is plus three. So plus two to plus three is not increase or decrease. Of course, it's going to be what increase. So plus two to what plus three is what is an increase in oxidation number. Remember, oxidation means what increase in oxidation number here, right? So you can this guy is oxidation. This is what oxidation. Oxidation is what is increase in what oxidation what number. Yeah, the oxidation number of of a chlorine, neutral chlorine is zero. And here's what is minus one. So here we can have chlorine move from one from zero to what to minus one. And reduction is what is decrease in what oxidation number. It means that this one here is what is reduction. This one is what is what is reduction. I hope you understand. So now remember any special that will go oxidation is said to be what reducing agent. Why any spray that undergo reduction is said to be what oxidizing agent. It means that this guy is the is what is the reducing agent because it's one that undergo what oxidation. Why this one is what is the oxidizing agent because it's one that undergo what reduction. Hope you understand. Here is what is the oxidation, which is what a uh, reducing agent. Here is what reduction, which is what oxidizing agents. So now, when I define oxidizing and reducing agents, you don't look at this one here, you don't look at what the product, you focus on the reactant you get. So, I'll leave a question, I'll leave a question on the description below. You can download and what get more questions for you to what solve. But now let me place one on the board so I can what, try to. With the understanding I've, I've actually taught you or you have gained, with the understanding you have gained from this video, then go ahead, pause the video and answer this one here. So look at the reader's question here. They're not asking which, what is the oxidizing agent? So which of this is what is the oxidizing agent? Now, in the words, in your question, you give me what, a lot of questions. You say A is what C U, B is what. Uh, H two C is what C U O D is what uh, H two O. So which of these is the oxidizing agent? So pause the video and do it for me. So we are coming to that. So pause the video and I will try it for me. Pause the video and try it for me. Which of these is what is the oxidizing agent? So which of these is the oxidizing? Agent, so I believe you have done it. If you have done it, you can comment your answer on the comment section, right? So, uh, this will move here, and this guy will move here. So, here we have CUO move towards CU, then H2 move towards H2O. Please understand this stuff very well. Now, remember, I think that reduction is the what. Lost of what oxygen. So from year to year, you can see that this one have uh, this one have lose what oxygen. Do you that? So copper oxide have lost what oxygen to form to copper. 
do that. So this one of Vodago what reduction. This one of Vodago what reduction is that is being what reduced. I get for copper two or like what to copper what to copper what metal. So because there's, there's what decrease in oxygen or loss of oxygen here, give out what reduction. Remember, I told you that reduction is what loss of what oxygen, right? On the other hand, here this hydrogen here, now there's an increase in oxygen here. So here we have no oxygen, here we have one oxygen. Remember, I told you that reduction in oxidation is what increase or addition of what oxygen. So here we have what oxidation. Do that. So it means that this one is what? This one undergo reduction. Undergo what? Reduction. You have to understand this here. Undergo reduction. Why is undergo what? Oxidation. Oxidation. I did. Remember, I think that any species that undergo reduction is the what? Oxidizing agent. It's not this guy is the oxidizing agent. Why is what is the what reducing what agent? So the question says, which of the species is what is the oxidizing agent? My oxidizing agent is what copper two oxide. Copper what two oxide. So here we have oxidizing agent. Oxidizing what agent? Do you get why is what is what reducing? Reducing what agents do that. So you now because they say oxidizing agent, they specifically stated that which of this is what is the oxidizing what agent? What would like the answer? The answer is what is C. You see how easy it is, right? Now let me drop on that on the board so I can try to answer this question here. If you can solve this question, you can actually what, pause the video and put the option there. Is it A, B, C, and D? They say in the reaction, which substance is being reduced? So, which of these uh, undergo reduction? Remember, I tell you that the one that undergo reduction is being, is that is being reduced, right? So, which undergo reduction here? So, pause the video and try down to see your answer at the comment section. So, so now let's go into it. Of course, uh, B is what moves to this because there's fluorine here, there's fluorine here, right? There's hydrogen here, there's oxygen here, there's no oxygen here. So here you can define in terms of what you are not defining in terms of what oxygen, you are defining in terms of what hydrogen. You get that? So because the, this flowing here is not having hydrogen, but it's having hydrogen here. So here you can say F, here you can say F O. Here you can say F to move towards H F, right? Then you have H2. H2 or move towards O2. You get that? Now, so what are we defining in terms of what? You are defining in terms of what? Hydrogen. Remember, I gave you three definitions in terms of what? Oxygen, in terms of what? Hydrogen, in terms of what? Increase or, yeah, you can tell what? Oxidation number. So you'll be the one to what? Figure out which one is much easier for you. It's obvious here that fluorine move from here towards hydrogen and what I move from here to what oxygen do that so you can define in terms of what or uh, you can define in terms of what hydrogen so again I tell that oxidation is the loss of what hydrogen why reduction is what gain of what hydrogen you can go back to those definition I I'm going to do that so from here you can see that fluorine has gained hydrogen here right Flowing up again, hydrogen. There's no hydrogen, there, but there's what one hydrogen. So there's an addition of what hydrogen from left to what to right, right? So if there's an increase in hydrogen, is what is the reduction? Is what reduction? Now, how many hydrogen do we have here? Here we have two hydrogen. Here we have no hydrogen. If not, this one here are what. Uh, about like there's a decrease or loss of what hydrogen and those species that lose hydrogen in redox reaction are said to be what oxidation oxidation so here we have what oxidation do that it means that f2 here 
fluorine gas undergoes reduction. I get why water undergoes oxidation. You imagine that those species that undergo reduction are said to be what to reduce. Why the species that undergo oxidation are said to be what oxidize? The question is that in the reaction, the substance that is being reduced is dash. I get because F to undergo reduction to form what hydrogen fluoride is said to be what to be reduced. So which one is not the options? The option is now going to be what C. So when selecting oxidizing and reducing agent here, what one want, want to do for what split it here? For definition, they pick the one that is oxidation, pick the one that is what of reduction. Oxidation or reduction. Then from there, now the one that is the oxidized, the one that is what reduced, the one that is what oxidation, the one that the one that is what oxidizing agent, the one that is what reducing agent. So we are coming to the end of this particular video. Of this video is helpful. Please, if this video, if this video is helpful and you really find value in this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you have not done that, and turn on the notification bell because we drop content uh, every week for. For you to understand chemistry faster and what um, better. If you have any questions, you can leave at the comment section below. I will leave questions. I will leave questions on redox reaction at the what uh, description. You can go download that, that free PDF. Then answer most of those questions. Go to help you do that. See you in the next video. So